Welcome to our channel. Today we're discussing a critical and increasingly common medical condition, cesarean scar ectopic pregnancy or CSP. CSP occurs when the gestational sac implants within the scar of a previous cesarean section. With the rise in cesarean deliveries, understanding and managing CSP is crucial for obstetricians and gynecologists. Um, the incidence of CSP is on the rise due to the increasing number of cesarean sections. Early and accurate diagnosis is vital. For women with a history of cesarean delivery presenting with atypical bleeding, a high index of suspicion is necessary. Ultrasound, especially transvaginal with color Doppler, is the gold standard for diagnosing CSP. If there's any doubt, MRI can also be used. CSP occurs when the blastocyst implants into the scar tissue of a previous cesarean section. Risk factors include having had even a single cesarean section, especially for breech presentations. Patients with CSP may present with minimal symptoms like slight vaginal bleeding and abdominal discomfort. Severe cases can involve acute pain and significant bleeding, which may indicate rupture. Management of CSP can be medical or surgical, depending on the specifics of the case. Methotrexate is the primary medical treatment for stable, unruptured cases. Local embryocytes such as methotrexate, uh, potassium chloride, and etoposide can be injected into the gestational sac under ultrasound guidance. Surgical options include dilatation and curettage, hysteroscopic resection, and laparoscopic or abdominal resection, particularly for exogenic CSP. A combined approach like uterine artery embolization with surgical removal can reduce bleeding risks. Sequential management involves initial medical treatment followed by surgery. Continuous follow-up is crucial until the CSP mass completely resolves. Recurrence of CSP ranges from 3.2% to 5%, particularly if the myometrial thickness is less than 5 mm. Surgical repair of the uterine defect can help reduce recurrence risk. Future pregnancies should be closely monitored with early ultrasounds to rule out CSP recurrence. Subsequent deliveries are typically via caesarean section to minimize the risk of uterine rupture. Managing CSP requires a multidisciplinary approach and significant expertise to prevent complications. Preventive strategies should focus on reducing unnecessary cesarean sections. Clinicians must emphasize the long-term risks associated with CSP, such as placenta accreta. When counseling women considering cesarean delivery for non-medical reasons, thank you for watching. Stay informed and stay healthy.